Hi everyone, my name is E. Appreciate everybody who's tuning in to watch this video. Uh, this week, I just wanted to do something a little bit different. I wanted to share my process back when I was a real estate agent in Las Vegas renting houses. So one problem that I encountered back then was I've, I was getting tons of inquiries, you know, coming from the office, uh, marketing strategy, emails, phone calls, text messages. And I wanted to show my process on how I was able to filter out like the qualified tenants that you should focus on with the rest, which is the, the fake ones, the unqualified ones, just wanted to waste your time. Unfortunately, there's a lot of those. So this video would kind of like uh, uh, teach you that and hope you guys uh, are interested and stick around. All right, so what is this all about? Um, essentially, this trick will help you to set up your templates and assigning those templates to a keyboard shortcut. So a quick disclaimer though, this uh, I've been using this one with an iPhone and a Mac because if you only use an iPhone, unfortunately, it doesn't keep the format. That one I'll explain a little bit later. So let's dive into the settings on the Mac, all right? So all I have to go to is the system preferences and you have go to the keyboard, text tab, and then all you see I have all of my templates right here. Um, for this purposes, for, for this video's purposes, I'm gonna show you an example where I get a template. Um, this is another program, it's called OmniFocus. This is where I keep all of my templates, like not just with applications. So um, say the first text response, right? Say you get uh, a rental inquiry asking about the house, but first of all, you wanted to do a pre-qualification. So you don't want to dive into the question right away. It's more about prepping them, like letting them know that you're an agent, you got the inquiry. So this is the first message that I send out. Um, Hi, my name is Emmanuel. I'm an agent here in Las Vegas. I was told you wanted to be a rental property. I don't mind for your So it's my work. So in the next week, week. Let me know if you're okay answering a few questions. On the other hand, if you have any questions, please let me know, and I will try to answer them as the best of my knowledge. So that's a long one. You don't want to keep on typing that on every inquiry that you get. So here's a trick. You copy all of that. You go to the keyboard shortcut, the one that uh, we went to earlier, and then you assign, you just press add, like the plus, plus sign here. Say for this example, we do R1, which is response one, um, and then simply paste it there. Control V, uh, I mean, command V. So once that's done, say somebody emails you, um, all you have to do is reply and then press R1 and it will pop up and then you can just spread send and it's same same goes with your iPhone since the Mac is actually synced to the settings of the iPhone this should have the R1 shortcut as well so um, say you got a text message right and then um, whatever it says you know looking for a house uh, when can I see it blah 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 um, so the first message that you want to do is R1 and then you'll see right there it auto pops it auto pops and then you can just press it right there see you know your contact information is there and then you press send there's a second template uh, that I've already been using which is the questionnaire sheet say they respond okay I can answer a few questions um, and then I set up my questionnaire sheet right so I use uh, uh, this code ALO2 uh, for the questionnaire to be sent. So this actually uh, refers to the criteria of your company. Really depends. You're gonna base it from their criteria, and you know you you make your own template. And it's just so easy to to have to remember ALO2 or R2 instead of typing all of this over and over and over again to all of your inquiries. So that's how it works um oh before i forget um 
uh, you cannot make the templates here because there's you have the ability to do so. You can just go to settings. Um, same thing, general, um, keyboard, text replacement. You can all you can do that all here as well. But the problem is, let me show you. So text replacement R two. And then I, I paste it here, right? The problem with that is when I go back to to actually applying the the, the shortcut, if the shortcut was made here and on the iPhone, look, then it doesn't have the proper spacing anymore. I've been looking for an alternative how to do it. I wasn't able to find any. So in order to 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 benefit this uh, this uh, uh, process, you should have uh, an iPhone and a, a Mac computer. So that's it for today. I hope uh, you find that um, useful, and maybe I'll do another tutorial next time. I want actually I wanted to talk about the OmniFocus and Dropbox. You know, those are the main softwares that I've used back when I was still a real estate agent. Helped me a lot. Yeah, greatly uh, boosted my efficiency while I was working. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. See you guys in the next one.